Today I'm going to show you a basic tutorial on how to download phone numbers from Cole Realty Resource, whether you're going to be circle prospecting or you need phone numbers for your farm. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to navigate to colerealtyresource.com. This is what the home page looks like. And what you'll do is you'll slip over here to customer login. And the login for everyone is exactly the same. There isn't a separate login for everyone in the Market Center. It is S. McVeigh as the username. And then the password is simple to remember. It's 12345. And so make sure this little blue box is checked that you agree to the user agreement. And go ahead and click login. You see we have to renew our subscription there. Um, when you get here, there are lots of tutorials on the home page. I definitely recommend if you are going to be in here and using this you need to go ahead and spend a little bit of time and there are script ideas in here there are marketing ideas in here here's um, a, a particular article about making uh, circle prospecting calls so you have all of that available um, to get some good ideas and inspiration um, today what we're going to do is we're going to use the most popular um, search for finding homes to call either around a li just listed or just sold um, or perhaps even your open house. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you can either search by zip code, by city, or you can search by neighborhood. And we do neighborhood quite a bit because um, you're going to be nine times out of ten circle prospecting for a reason in a particular neighborhood around a target property. So we have a property listed for sale on Andrews and Lakewood right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type that in. And I'm looking for certified homeowners. Um, in this particular instance, I want to see if anyone else is looking to sell. Um, I want to let them know that our property just became available. We have lots of buyers looking at it and we are looking for additional homes to sell in the area. So that's going to be my script when I make my phone calls. I go ahead and I type that I want a list of all the records and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make sure this box is checked that I understand the terms and conditions of using the data, including respect for the do not call list. I'm going to hit search. And when I search, you'll see it's going to populate um, with all of the certified homeowners on the street. If there is a phone number available, it will be listed here. If it's a landline, it's listed in this column. If it's a cell phone, it's listed in this column. And sometimes you get lucky and you get both. But you'll see by and large, um, it'll be one or the other. And so these are all the certified homeowners on the street. And I can go ahead and I can select them all. Or just select the ones I want. And then I can export them. The other thing that I can do is I can click here. And it'll take me over and it'll show me exactly where on Andrews the property is. And I can get a look at the type of house it is, if it's similar, or if I do make a connection to the contact online, I can see exactly what their home looks like. So that's a very handy little feature uh, that you can see right from this screen. If I come down to the very bottom, however, um, I can either do a street search like I did here. I can also do a radius search. And so if I want to do a radius search, um, I can do it within a tenth of a mile or more depending on how dense the population is in that area, how dense the housing is. Um, the other thing that I can do is I can just do a map search. And I've used map search before in subdivisions uh, that you know maybe aren't quite as uh, geometric in nature as Lakewood is, um, where you're trying to you know, maybe encompass a subdivision. So you could do something like that. I know sometimes our subdivision streets look more like Lakewood Park walking trails. And what we would do then is we could select just that subdivision, especially if it's adjacent to other subdivisions, or I'm interested in one and not in the other. So once you do that, you can either call right from here. You can print a list or you can export it as a CSV file and upload into uh, your dialer of choice, whether it be Vulcan or Mojo or whatever. So I just wanted to give you a real quick look at how to get in and um, show you what the resources are for ideas around using coal. And the only thing that I ask in the Market Center is that everybody adhere to the DNC. Um, if you are calling expireds in for sale by owners, 
uh, their house is advertised for sale so you can call them once if they say don't call back don't call back however um, when you are calling these types of numbers you want to make sure that you are respectful of the do not call list okay hope you're having a great day and you uh, go ahead and get familiar with coal because it's an amazing resource for you as you look to kick your prospecting into high gear have a great day